You know, he does like those bones, does he not? Welcome back to the show. We are uh, watching the spell with Miss Misery, but Miss Misery stepped away for a, a quick moment so that Tangela and Fang could sit in the chair. You know, for a dog named Fang, he's, he's rather fluffy and, and friendly looking, don't you think? Looks like a Benji. He does look like a Benji. He's right, you know. Anyways, uh, we, we're going to take this opportunity to read the mail that you send to us because if you send us mail, it is our obligation to read it, right? Indeed. Indeed. What do you got for me, Mr. Livingston? Ocala, Florida. How are you, sir? I'm well. Are you staying out of trouble? I have to. You know, one of these days, I'm going to have to bail him out of jail. I don't know why, but that would be fun. I would be rather... He's bailed me out a few times. <laughs> <clears throat> All right, Ocala, Florida. Christy Clark writes us. She hails from Ocala. Is that pronounced correctly, Ocala? I'm not sure. All right. Ocala is another alternative. Could be an Indian name of some it's, sort. It's Florida. All right. I'm from Ocala, Florida. I watch all of you all's shows. All of you all are awesome, and y'all's shows are great. That sounds like the South. Yeah, you know, I... It, so Florida is technically south, right? But they don't speak like that there, do they? It's a mix. It's a mix. All right. Well, thank you for writing, Christy, and uh, we hope things are wonderful in Florida. Watch out for crocodiles. I understand you have those beasts there. Those are, you know, they bite. They nip. I think it's alligators. Alligators? Not crocodiles. Where are crocodiles? On the Nile. Oh, all right. Have we ever gotten any mail from somebody on the Nile? No. Well, when that comes, I shall use the correct animal. Someone in denial, perhaps. Denial, I like that. All right, uh, Eugene Gray writes to us, uh, subject, movie recommendation. We don't get enough of these, you know. Oh, every day. Right, we do. All right, uh, he goes, uh, the old Universal classic monster movies, I'm sure would be expensive to televise, but there's one that may or may not be expensive. The movie is The Invisible Ray with Karloff and Lugosi, made in 1936. It is more of a science fiction movie than a horror movie, even though it has its cast, Universal's two biggest monster stars of the 30s. I watched it the other night and highly recommend it to anyone who enjoys the old Universal classics. It is very atmospheric and even has a little airplane flying around the globe at the beginning. If it's not expensive, I highly recommend showing this movie, Eugene Gray. Well, uh, thanks for the recommendation, Eugene. However, the issue here is not so much the price or the movies, we cannot show those films on YouTube. So that means we would have to do a, an episode of the show for TV and then one for YouTube with a different movie, and it's just a big mess. So if we can't show it on YouTube, then we just don't do it, right? Right. Right. So uh, maybe someday when Universal lets us show on both, we'll do that. But until then, sorry. We have a package. A package. Give me the package with a letter. I you know, assume it's she's got a handful. I shall dispense with the well. distribution of this. I, I shall use my shoe as a, a present stand. All right. This is from Max Allison. Is that a real name? I'm assuming so. It's now, typewritten as well. well it, is it is done with thing. a real typewriter. And uh, But could this be an Allison to the Max? Like... Her name is Allison, and she is like the maximum version of an Allison. Oh, I see. This is your attempted humor. No, it's my attempt to understand this name. Ah. All right. We're going to assume it's Maximilian Allison, and it is a he. And uh, he is in Indiana in Salisburg. 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 I've never heard of this. Hmm. All right. Uh, dear Vincent Livingston and Tangella, I discovered Creature Features about a year ago, and ever since I've tuned in every Saturday night, I even got my mom into it as well. It's our favorite mother-son bonding activity. Uh, imagine that. Imagine that. Mother, you know, it's better than Mother's Day because you don't have to buy flowers or cake, right? Popcorn. Popcorn. Yeah, it's less expensive than flowers and cake, I assure you. Uh, let's see. Uh, we found this octopus for Tangella and we hope she will enjoy it. I also collect autographs and if there's any way of getting a signed photo, let me know. I think we can arrange that, sir. I'm pretty sure Sean Penn ripped off Vincent's look in his film, the Must, This Must Be the Place. Uh, have I seen that film? I don't think so. I'm going to look into that. And here is the octopi. Look at this. It kind of looks like you. It's got like the little bow tie, but you don't, 
You know, I always do the bow ties. He used to do bow ties. Not anymore. Why? Yeah. Change it up. Do not let Fang eat this wonderful gift from Max. All right, I'm going to give you back the letter. Anything and else? I have one more. One more from. Oh, from I recognize this. I recognize this. All right, uh, for those of you who've been watching the show for a while, you know that there's somebody who writes to us frequently. His name is Ted Oakman, and he, is, he writes to us every day. Every time we go to the mailbox, there's a pile from. of mail. We, we, we've got a huge box of all the mail we save from Ted. So uh, every now and then we will read one of these, and he goes, uh, June 1980, the 14-year-old teenager during afternoon daylight stood under the UFO three feet above himself. He chased after it, jumped on it, and rode on the UFO across the city of Oakville. The Oakville alien enjoys watching creature features since 1980. Yours truly, Ted Oakman. That's your valley. And he, uh, he enclosed this picture. We'll put a big one up. So, uh, Ted, you've got to find something better to do than write to us. I, we love hearing from you, but uh, every day, mates. Go have some fun. Go hunt down that UFO. Or join a ghost hunting group, right? Wouldn't that be good for him? If he joined a ghost hunting group, then he can go find ghosts instead of an interesting recommendation writing letters to us right no maybe we'll see and that would be it that's it for mail if you'd like to send us mail of your own by email send it to the address you see over here or if you'd like to send a wonderful octopi to place on tangela's head send it to the p.o box you see right here we'll be right back with miss misery soon but first let's get back to the spell Hey, Vinny, how you doing, man? You're doing a good job. Keep it up. Mr. Livingston, how you doing? Listen, obviously I'm a guy. My name's Giovanni. A little bit of a singer. But anyway, I'd like to uh, sing to, uh, what's her name, Tarantula? Let me know what you want to hear. Later, bro. <laughs> 